One of the best things about working on the Photoshop team is I always had access to the coolest cameras. The truth is, these days, I'm shooting with my iPhone more than anything. I'm using it for photos, videos, panoramas. But we thought, wouldn't it be great if we could use that mobile camera in the iPhone to do even more? To harvest rich colors or scalable vector shapes? Well, that's exactly what Adobe Capture does. This app is addictive. It's a blast to use. Uh, let me show you how it works. Okay, let's take a look at Adobe Capture on the iPhone 6S. This is one of my favorite apps, and the reason I'm showing it on the iPhone is this is the camera that so many of us use. Well, using Capture, we essentially have four different lenses for how we look at the world. We can extract color values, we can create vector shapes, we can create brush tips, and we can create looks for videos. And what's great is all of this information is available in the other Adobe mobile apps and it's available on the desktop if you have Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, etc. The first thing we'll do is in color, we'll see that we're looking through our camera, but we're extracting color values from whatever the camera sees. Now, this isn't that interesting. There's not that much color. So let's put in a more colorful image. You can see that I can load an image locally from Creative Cloud, even stock. Um, I do have some colorful images here. So let's go ahead and choose one of those. And the first thing you'll notice is that it automatically harmonizes the colors into five complementary tones. Now, I can come in here and choose maybe muted, and I'll get a different array. Let's go with deep. Or I could override this as well. So maybe I want to just go with the color in the saddle blanket, the color on the horse, color on my sweatshirt, on my backpack, and let's go ahead and drop a flesh tone in there as well. Now again, these colors will be available to me in the other mobile apps. I could use them for painting. Uh, I could do all sorts of different things with them. So with those set, I'm going to confirm that those are the colors I want. Let's call this horses. And here's the library that that's going to be dropped into. Now what that's going to do is that's going to tell me where to point the mobile apps or where to reference on the desktop apps. That's where that content will live. And you see that I have a image that sits alongside those as well. Okay, so when I'm all set, I like the colors, I like the name, and I've dropped it in the library I want. I'm gonna save that color theme. And there it is right there. Okay, now with shape, the idea here is that I can take any photograph and turn that into a scalable vector shape. Those vector shapes will be available as content that I could drop into other applications. And of course, they're available on the desktop as well. Let me show you what it looks like to create a vector shape in here. So as with color, as soon as I touch that, I'll see whatever the camera sees. The trick with this app is to touch the screen to get a preview of that shape. I could choose to invert that, and I can pull the slider here to get the effect I want. That wood grain actually works quite well, so I'm going to go ahead and commit that. Now at this point, I have the option of removing anything that I want, or I can go ahead and keep it all. So if I wanted to remove content from the top, I just drag my finger over that. Whenever I'm ready, I hit Next, and Shape will start resolving a very clean, infinitely scalable vector shape of whatever I've chosen to capture. So as we zoom in here, we see that the beauty of this app is that it's created these really smooth vector shapes. This is all infinitely scalable. So if I click Next, I'll get a preview of both images, the source image and the one that we turned into a vector, and we can call this whatever we like. As before, I choose the library I want to place that in, and it will be available to me in the other mobile apps here locally and on the desktop. A lot of people love the new Adobe mobile apps for all sorts of different reasons, but Capture is the one app that every time I show it to people, they immediately download it and they start creating cool stuff right away. I hope that you've seen a little bit of what it can do and you enjoy using it yourself.